Hey, hi, and hello. Welcome to the channel and to Cyberpunk 2077. Here's my look for the day. I'm not feeling this vest. I don't really care for it. It doesn't match my outfit. And in positive news, though, Hell is back! And also, I'm here to buy this one. Got it. <laughs> I also got a couple of other um, offers for uh, cars. Regina Jones, good luck with it, V. Watch out for the NCPD. Nothing they love better than writing up tickets. Let's see how much, how good you are. No, thank you. All right, let's find out. Um, what are we doing today? There's other vehicles I could buy, but that's not very exciting. I'll get them on my own time. I guess we could follow these hustles, yeah? Why not? So, uh, let's check these out. Um, this one, the surprise guard, the prison guard was in Sixth Street's pocket. Surprised? Me neither. But clearly something way bigger was being planned here. Wonder what went wrong. I guess we'll track this. I don't remember getting this one. So, I mean, I know I picked it up somewhere in one of these, uh, scanner things, but... Oh, this is accelerating pretty quickly. Ooh, I kind of like it. I mean, so far I haven't done much with it, but I like it. That's fine. That's just how you stop on that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, we got a ways to go, huh? Okay. Whoa. That's better. Um, maybe it would be a little bit easier to fast travel it. Let's go that way. And actually, let's go here. Because I'm already heading that way. And we'll be going to ooh, somewhere very far away. Uh, let's go. I guess we'll be going here, the damn viewpoint. That's fine. It's my car now. <laughs> Load for me, please. Load for mother. Thank you. I guess we're mother today. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. This will get us there so much quicker. Ooh, bouncy, what, truck in the background? What's happening? It doesn't feel safe here. There is gunfire. I feel unsafe. Let's do the quartz. Get some more time with you, my love. I guess all my cars are my love. I've never been a car person, but I, I guess I'm adopting that here. Oh, it's because there's a... I see. All right, maybe we check this out first. Hi, everyone. Oh my, things are exploding. Are you an enemy? I feel like you are. I feel like you are my enemies right now. Be on high alert! He's here! Somewhere! Who's here? Who are you shooting at? I've got this. Hey, anyone else catch that? <laughs> Just gonna go back here for a second. Thank you for your cooperation. I guess, officer? Are you officers Ain't doing no garbage things, like garbage people? Down. Can't you be one of the few good ones? Area secure. Ooh, ooh, you don't see me. I'm not here. Oh, maybe you won't. Neither of you two seem to be moving at all, so I think I can just... Archive 
conversation. Yes, at your service. I heard I can count on you, that you're reliable. Wouldn't be in my position if I wasn't. Good. I like you. You'll take care of my car. In what way? The car has to disappear without a trace. It has to be absolutely unidentifiable. Do we understand each other? Yes, of course. I'll be there in an hour. Half an hour. Of course. No, I really like you. So, you were making this car go away? Is that what was happening? I don't think you're just supposed to shoot cars till they explode. Ah! He's here somewhere. I'm not, I'm not here. You don't see me. Nothing's happening. I'm not here. Contact! Contact! Well, let's put you in here. Go have a good time, I promise. I was gonna say that was some of my best shooting, and then he moved. Ruined it all for me. No. Really don't like the double tap to holster your weapon. Okay. Evidence. I mean, not that, but evidence. Oh, a skill shard for annihilation. Cool. Let's street cred. Let's check this out first. I got instructions from Albeck to destroy her car. She must have hit someone trying to cover it up. What do I do? Are you asking me as your supervisor at Militech or as a friend? Both, if you can share it. Well, as your supervisor, I say, follow the instructions given by Miss Tucker Albeck. But as your friend, I say, take photos, collect evidence, then destroy the car. Never know when you'll need some dirt on Tucker Albeck. Thanks. Wow, good people all around. Nice. So you destroyed her car, huh? Cool. Was it worth it? Ooh, so much stuff here. Oh, it's just a glass bottle of water. Didn't expect that. I want to look through the thing. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like these. All right, that was fun. Now, let's go do these hustles. Side hustles. Okay. One person just like at this kind of bus stop, just minding his own business. <laughs> Smart. Ah! Uh, everything's fine. I was not in danger of falling off the side. Definitely not. And you can't prove I was. I was always going to hit that to slow myself down. And I will testify in court. That can't be nothing. It just, it can't be. Alright. Guess we'll let it be. I wanted so badly to like jump off or like throw myself off the, drive myself off the side to just like fly over and all. I don't know how effective that would be. Plus there's a lot that's kind of stopping me from doing that. Which kind of makes me sad. Although, we all know that I need as much help as I can get staying on the road, so I guess maybe it's a good thing that there's, ah, a bunch of, um, ah. guardrails and things. Maybe I shouldn't take these small bump, or these small heels at 140 miles an hour. Stash. Oh. Maybe not yet. Hold on. Who are you? Sixth Street Gang. Out over there. What's happening? Is there anyone behind the house? Whoops, gonna find out real quick. Can't get in. Okay. 
So no, doesn't look like anyone's behind the house, which is helpful. Might be throwing another grenade in the middle of them. <laughs> Just make that easy. Someone there? Oh. Well, that grenade was not as effective as I was hoping it would be. You move fast. Let's disable your cyberware. And let's set you on fire. Stapler. You're weird. <laughs> Just fell face first, right down, arms at his side, right into like this gutter. That's nice. Uh, bat. Is it better than my bat? The exact wrong way to find out. It is. New bat. Is there always more radios? Wait, where is the stash you talk about? Oh, it's this. Reboot objects, which is cool. A knife. An archive conversation. Gunner decided. Morton's people, the ones still doing time in the Militech can, they gotta go. Zero tolerance for the old guard. How we doing it? What do we gotta tell the boys? They gotta wait for the runner to hack it. Once that wirehead takes over the prison systems, he'll open the cells, then cut the power. That's when the boys gotta start a riot. And during that riot, they find Morton's people, and then I think you know what happens. Right. No guard will bring everything in. Just need two to three days to get them the word. Who's that Jum? Wanna know who he is. James Ben Ben. Where's he live? Coordinates? All right, our boys will head over there, hand him the stuff. Yeah, wanted to do that, but probably too much for him to take all at once. Yeah, of course. Huh. Everyone's so great in this city. Just really, really lovely people. Going to Nina's hide. Oh, I remember this one. I found her. I found her body. So, oh, okay, bye. What is happening here? I'm not gonna get in the middle of it, but you enjoy your shootout. Have a grand old time. Damn it. <laughs> Everything's going well. Okay. So, how's everyone's day? How are we doing? You taking care of yourselves? I hope you are. You deserve to be taken care of. Whoa! Uh, much better than the way that I treat these cars. <laughs> I don't know if I've said this before, but I'm an actor. I work at a theater nearby my home. We're opening a show tonight, and I'm very excited for it. It's a one-man show, which I like stage managing. I'm not in it, to be clear. I'm stage managing the show, which means I'm running the show. I make sure everything is where it's supposed to be when it's supposed to be there. Make sure all the sound and light cues work properly. I make sure the show runs. Here's another one. And we're opening tonight. And I'm so excited to have um, an actual audience. It's gonna be great. Okay, sorry. several of you. So... Ah. Marking things I don't want to mark. It's a real sensitive scanner. I see... Oh, that's a turret. 
right? It is. So, let's turn you on friendly mode. You, I guess. Oh, great. I'll just set fire to your corpse. That'll work. I'll take what I can get. Wow, this one's getting me too. Ah, there we go. Oh, I screwed it up. I thought I did it right. Oh well. favors. Good turret. I like you. Can I take you with me? Mobile turret? That's what, it, that's what I'm missing. A mobile turret. Wow, you are large. Cool. Archive conversation. Yo, about to spend any of those generator picks. Alright, go. Well, how long I gotta wait? File unavailable. There, got him? Yeah, hang on, showing the techie. Bugsy, come on, the Tinos are beating piss. Shit's getting jumpy. Yo, techie says it's some antique shit, not the generators we were supposed to get. Fuck I do now. You fucking wiped the motherfuckers trying to fuck us over, fucking scop shitters. Choom, you there? Yo, Choom, listen. What? Yo, sorry, techie said he fucked up, took another look. Those are the generators we wanted. But we already wiped the Tinos. Yeah, well, fuck him. Wow. Just, just like that, huh? Jesus. Oh. Wasn't expecting a computer. Got a job. Choom, listen, we got that fight club going, don't we? You grab some generators because the place should have power and it don't. Take. Cool story, Choom. Where the fuck am I supposed to get generators? Oh, this is the conversation that was just being had after this. Fucking wait a fucking second hit send before I was done. Take some of ours and set it up with the Tinos. Heard they got some generators at a decent, decent price. You buy them off from Honest with real cred. From the Tinos? Last I checked, we had a beef. Now we don't. But before you take the generators, send me a pic first. Of the Tinos? The fuck? Shoom. The Tinos? The generators. You fucking half neuron gonk. I fucking swear. Forever young. Already seen that. Don't need it. Thanks, though. Cool. Alright. Oh, I think I just missed. I did. I missed you. Who doesn't have shoes? Shoes. <laughs> I got distracted. I was gonna say face, but I saw the shoes come up. Wow. You really don't have a head, though. Dude, you're, ha you're having a rough time. Okay, let's bye. Let's go. Thank you for waiting so patiently for me. Car. This one doesn't have a name yet. It's 
So far, Hella is the only one that I named, and that's because she already came with her own name that I liked. This one, I think, says Archer. I don't know how I feel about that one yet, but we'll see. into anything any second. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. That's not where I want to be. Well, good news is I'm almost there. Can I just run the rest of the way? Yeah, no, I hear you. How about you teleport somewhere else, though? That's great. Not way over there. How is that helpful to me? You're on my last nerve. I'm already here. Don't need you anymore. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is up there? There's a bunch of you, I think. So... Let's see. What are we doing with you? You, I can take over to that dumpster. That's easy. Oh crap, I threw a grenade. <laughs> oh no. Damn it. Oh, I so screwed that up. Wow. That's overheat you. Oh, I need to not be here. Good, good. Oh, too late for that. Wow, that actually is going better than I thought it would. Ah, let's overheat you. This falls. I assume it falls under annihilation, but I don't. Maybe it's not. Rifles. Oh, precision rifles. Oh, I need to switch. I need to go back to a shotgun. I'm not getting any bonuses with this one. And I'm not going to put any points into that because I'm already committed to other things. So, that's fine. It's fine. Oh, well, at least now I know. Shouldn't be using that rifle. Okay. Bounce back, lighter. Does anyone have anything that's actually useful to me anymore? I guess you wouldn't. Huh. It's none of you are special enough for that. Ooh, sorry, the fence fell on you. Rough. Also for the bullets I put in you. Very delicately. I don't think that was the problem, really. Is that an LMG? It is. Which is not as good as mine. Okay. What do we got here? Cameras? There 
our cameras. And I have no idea where. even the place I needed to be. I assumed it was going to lead to it. Delamain. Mr. V, I believe I have discovered the cause of my technical difficulties. Oh! Each Delamain vehicle is equipped with a simplified AI core that is responsible for the vehicle's autonomy in critical situations when contact with the core has been ruptured. If my assessment is correct, the AI cores have seceded from the Delamain network and gone rogue, so to speak. I am still attempting to work, our, work out how. Your cars are sentient? Apologies. It seems my explanation was more than a little incoherent. Given the complexity of the situation, allow me to use a metaphor. Imagine a human organ deprived of vital resources, which then causes it to grow larger as a form of overcompensation, such as cardiomegaly. Megaly? I've never seen that word. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, however, I am dealing with a sickness, not with evolution. What do you think could have caused this? Indeed, that is the question. At first, I suspected that the software's increasing complexity and desire to become autonomous resulted in the vehicles be to become ipso facto autonomous. Nevertheless, I cannot rule out a virus, for what are the chances that all vehicles would become afflicted simultaneously? I am in the process of analyzing a glitch observed just before contact was severed with the vehicles. Perhaps that is where the answer lies. Thank you for your time. I will be in touch. Good stuff. Let me know if something else happens. All right, cool. I wasn't expecting to hear something so early from him. Why do I hear weapon fire? What's happening in here? Did someone else find your stash? Oh, it's somewhere else. Well, let's turn. Oh, yeah, let's make you friendly, just for fun. Plus, it'll give me some quick hacking experience, which, love. Cool. Alright. Yeah. Conversation between Nina Cello and Peter Cello. Oh, Dad, are you trying to give me a stroke? Dad, please, stop going beyond the wall. Have you learned literally nothing after what happened to me? You think any of those clowns sending you on those runs will be there to help when things go south? Don't be stupid, Nina. Quit while you're ahead, please. It's not worth it, trust me. Oh, he's concerned mad. And then she died. I'm sorry for your loss. Okay. What? I think I have one more of these. Yes. Go to Dirty Fred's stash. The homeless in Night City are frequent descenders into madness, in part because they live in perpetual fear, poverty, and hunger. Yeah, that'll do it but also due to seeing things that shouldn't be seen. The shard you found could be the ravings of just another lunatic, or perhaps something more. I don't remember who Dirty Fred is, or, whoa, I'm not gonna drive all that way. All right, where am I going? Let's go here. Wow, that was a long way. These, jer these jobs are taking me all over the place now. Before the lockdown, I was confined to that one part of the city. Understandably so, I guess, but now that it's over, I have free reign, I guess. So I'm just gonna end up going everywhere. Apparently, uh, just every chance I get, I say, like it's my choice. Hey, there's a Mizutani Shion that's looking for a new home. Won't lie, might be a little beaten up. Press the previous chick who owned it liked to lead foot the pedal. But the engine, suspension, brakes, everything that matters, it's all in prime condition. Rides like a pure dream. This baby's a classic and a fast one at that. Perfect for losing the 5-0. Oh, and the flooring might be a little stained. Coffee? Blood? Hard to tell. Okay. Mm Another. Uh car opportunity. Which again, I will get on my own time. So, I uh, wasn't sure where this was going to lead me, so I figured I'd just go straight through. 
That's fine. Don't think I need a card. Who's shooting? Why are you shooting? Okay. Yep, not gonna worry about it. Okay. Let's get up here. Sorry, not coming for food. This looks stable. Oh, that was easy. Found the stash. A monkey wrench. Which is better than what I have. Oh, there's a blood pump here. I never had to buy it. I could have just had it. All right, checking the wrench. Dr. Paradox broadcast excerpt. Here we are, constructing artificial cities in orbit, downloading our minds into integrated circuits, coding all powerful AIs, and we can't make one damn flu vaccine? You wanna know why? Corps want to destroy nature, because it doesn't give them IPs or copyright ownership. So we eat test tube chicken plants that grow in la- uh, test tube chicken, plants that grow in labs. Hell, even photosynthesis has been trademarked. Enough is enough. It's time we say stop before the sixth extinction wipes us all out. You think they'll stop at food? What about our bodies? There's no chunk of them that can't be cut, improved, and modified so that every breath we take, every heartbeat generates profit. And what about your children? From the corpse perspective, it's untapped potential, a goddamn wasted commodity. Soon our techno-fascist overlords will convince you that having children isn't your natural right, but a privilege you pay for out of your pocket. The water you're drinking, the food you're eating, they're putting in chemicals that will reduce your fertility so that soon they'll be incubating babies in water tanks with serial numbers on their foreheads, hooked up to cables instead of umbilical cords. Open your eyes, snap out of it, before it's too late. Honestly, that does sound like kind of a conspiracy theory, but also I would 100% believe that would happen in the future. 100%. All right, let's track this cyber psycho. How far are you? Four kilometers, once again. What, like right back to where I was? Okay, where are you? Oh, not quite, you're in a different direction. Oh, but close to where I was before. Well, that's okay. Let's go here. Yeah, anything that's more than like a kilometer away, I do not want to drive there. I know I'm missing a bunch of scanner stuff, but I mean, all of that's pretty extra and superfluous almost anyway. So I don't feel too bad about it. The completionist in me certainly wants to take care of them all, but it's really not that big of a deal, I don't think. So, Cyber Psycho. Mm, the car probably would have been a little bit faster, huh? Am I committed or do I get a car now? I'll just commit. Run, V. Because I make you. Ah, speaking of scanner stuff, let's see what's here. Are they inside, or have they just not spawned? That's not a question I should be asking myself all the time. That's a problem. Do we see that? Do we see that? CD Projekt Red. Oh, there's no one here. Layer. Archive conversation. Jake, got the stash set up. Uh, oh, orders. Now all you gotta do is grab the merch, give it to the kids, collect the eddies from the kids. You do not deal yourself, you do not take any risks. The less you're seen and heard, the better. Don't forget, you gotta look, you gotta put up lookouts, choose which kids are gonna carry the merch, which kids are gonna take the scratch from your clients. Easier than you might think. We'll, we'll up your stash every Tuesday. Anything goes wrong, call. Stash will be in the garage down on Manzanita. You'll find it all there. Code 1313. Ooh, is that something I should check out before I do this in case I need to remember? Whoops. Hmm. A rat dealer chose the wrong market. You know what? I'm not going to do it yet. I'll do it next. 13, 13. Should remember. That's my favorite number. Twice. 
So, that should be good. Are you gonna be a problem? Maybe I didn't need to mark them. I did not. Too cautious. But that's okay. Better to be too cautious. Hi. Hello. How are you? How's it going? I'm coming in now. Well, you... Oh. Okay. Whoa. What's going on over there? What? Okay, let's see if I can find him and just take him out quietly. And then I don't have to worry about fighting him. Where are you? Who are you? Oh, crap. Well, I don't know if I'm going to end up fighting you right now. You are a problem. Let's see. Um, we can try? Let's try. Let's see what happens. Let's start with a breach protocol. That'll make things easier for me. Okay. Cool. You have been breached. Short circuit you. I think will help a lot because you. Oh, wait a minute. I'm trying to take you out though. So. Hey. Oh god. Oh no. Ah! going really well. Got him. Yes. And now you're just unconscious. I did good. I'm proud of me. Um, a submachine gun. Berserk sniper deck, which I will not use because I use all of the quick hacks. Doesn't look good. I gotta say that Mary of yours sure has a head on her shoulders. She got you here at the last possible moment. Your body's rejecting the implants, and no wonder it's not ready for them. They're military grade. You can't use them without the proper training. Christ, they're not for civilian use at all. I can give you a script for chain painkillers, but don't forget, the pain is your body's way of warning you. If you ignore it and keep using that chrome, you could cause permanent damage to your spine. You might be able to take off that exoskeleton now, but if you break your spine, you'll never move on your own again. Oh, man. Having a rough time, huh, dude? Okay, well. What's here? Hi, who are you? Okay. Um, let's go inside. Is there anything in here? Shop with every projectile, I guess that makes sense. Um, likely an employee killed here. Likely a merc. Likely a merc. Oh, I think you were the one I saw when I first got in here. Send a crew. One of my workers went cyber psycho thanks to your fucking exoskeleton. He's out here destroying the whole building. My life's work. Either you send a quick response crew to dispose of him or I'll have to call the police. And hey, I wouldn't want the NCPD on my ass asking questions. Neither of us want me to answer.
well. Just take this floating pistol, thank you. Can I get in here? Nope. Okay. Mm I assume there's nothing on the top of the buildings. Doesn't look like it. So, what am I missing? Is there anyone I haven't scanned yet? Or searched? I think I did search everyone. Generator's not gonna help me. Um, seriously, what am I missing now? anything out here. No. Okay. Um, I am very confused. I am confusion. in this biz long enough to know it's a rough way to make a living. This job should toughen you up, but instead you keep coming to me looking for a shoulder to sob on. Now, most companies just swap out their workers when they get tired, but not me. Here I tried to show you some compassion. I even rounded up some gear for all of you at a decent price. And what do I get in return? Ungrateful lunks like you just think about yourselves, your own comfort, company be damned. But it's thanks to me you got decent implants and a low rate loan to cover them. I did it for you, out of, my, out of the kindness of my heart so you didn't have to waste your time going from bank to bank, filling out forms you can't even read. But do I get so much as a thank you? Never. And you know, if it weren't for Mary and Charlie, I would have kicked you out on your ass a long time ago. So try thinking about them for once and get back to work instead of crying to me. This is construction for crying out loud. This is no place for sissies and crybabies. But hey, if you think otherwise, you can go ahead and pack your shit up. And don't dare show your face here again. I mean, show it once a month when you come back to pay your installments, plus extra to cover that employee discount you won't be enjoying no more. Cut the bullshit. Wow. Already told you, I don't give a shit about no warnings or restrictions or special terms of use. I think we both know you're not about to give me a warranty on this shit, so don't make me pay out my ass for nothing. Save the scop and let's do biz. Don't matter if the, if they, if the they're salvaged from old military bases or fished out of some back alley ripper's dumpster. Shit could dig them up out of a 90, an Indian burial ground for all I care. Um, Native American? Long as they work. Hydraulics should be able to handle two metric tons. Nothing else matters. My people will buy whatever I sell them, so just get your people to give me what I ordered. Pay or your head explode. Will explode. I have read this one, that's just spam. All right, Regina, I need to message you. Okay. Managed to take the cyber psycho alive, though we sure put up a fight, sending you the deets. He sure did. Really glad you got him alive. Poor guy almost completely spiraled out before he even realized what was happening. My, my, now that's some creative management. Seems this developer has no problem creating a wide range of business needs and solutions. I'm sure his long-standing connections with weapons dealers, the NCPD, and other shady souls help enormously. And if a certain need isn't great enough, well, there's always the usual solutions of arm twisting and kneecapping. The key to success remains flexibility, especially of the moral sort. Guess even pneumatic arms can't lift morale in a toxic workplace. Cool. Alright. Now 
we're gonna check out this. I don't think I need it, but just in case. 1313. I remember the code. Hello. Archer, I guess. I'm not feeling Archer for you. You don't feel like an Archer. You're just, you're just not. You're too colorful for Archer. Ah! I think I just hit a, I think I just hit a fire truck. Am I going to prison? Oh! Everything's fine. There were, what is happening in this neighborhood? This uh, does not, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was gonna say it doesn't look like a safe place to live, but I that might be my fault at this point. Hi, I need in. Is that cool? Preach you. Three of them. Or, ah, there they are. Let's distract you. Hello? Who's there? Come with me, please. Let's just put you in this very loud car. Thank you. Bye. Rest well. And they just do not care. That's funny. Uh oh. Got trouble. Well, at least you're easy. Ah! Ah! He's almost dead! Direct fire! Watch out! Here ah. I come! Rude. Well. I guess I could have hit him with that. Archive conversation. All right, checked out 100%. Demkonk is a motherfucking wraith, and he's dealing mosquitoes shit on our turf. Higher up, say we can take him out, so get to work. No fooling around. You take him out quick, clean, and quiet. Oh wait, I think I just picked up a shotgun. So let's change his precision rifle to shotgun. Oh, apparently I found a couple of shotguns. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Give you a scope. Okay, I think we're good there. Great. Shotgun. Cool. What are we looking for here? Let's use that. Ooh, perk shard. <gasps> cool. Yes, please. Love that. Anything else? Lots of max docs in here. That's cool. Not complaining. Hey, a ripper dock. Way out here? Are you a safe ripper dock? Hey. You running tight on gear? This is a North Oak, as you can see. But as many of my clients say, is better than nothing. I suppose. Need some ripper work done. Uh-huh. Let's have a look then, shall we? I don't think you're gonna have anything here that is helpful to me. Oh. Actually, <laughs> this is better. Guess I'll take that. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Optical camo. <gasps> Ooh, fancy. Okay. Um, I need more body. 
immunity to bleeding. That hasn't been too much of an issue for me. And, oh, legendary optical camo. I need more street cred for it. All right, that's fine. Um, can't get that. Don't need that. I don't think much of this, ah. That is better. And that is better. All right, great. I'll take I'll take that. Thanks for your time. Okay. Where are we going next? Nope. Cyber Psycho. Let's do that. Oh right, I got a perk point. Wait. Um let's see what we have in cool. think any of this is helpful. So let's do intelligence. Quick hacking. Unaware targets. Yes. Great. All right. Yeah. You are a ways away, huh? There was just a right there. Cyber Psychos are kind of a test for me. I like that in a good way. Like they're some of the harder ones to to fight and to deal with because of all their enhancements and psychosis. <laughs> but I like it. What is ten? What does that mean? Come I need answers. Go back. All right. I'm not naming you. I'm not I'm not greeting you with a name this time. You haven't earned one yet. Oh, I'm gonna call you Bumblebee! Cause you remind me of Bumblebee! Perfect. Found your name. Now I just need him to learn how to transform. difficult for me. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, God. Let's malfunction your stuff so that I can get out. Ooh, it's going to be a long breach time. Ah. Ah. You just stay there. I'll be back eventually. Bye. Okay, guess we're not gonna take her out today. That's fine, we'll go somewhere else. You just hang out over there. Okay, where are we going? Not vehicles. Let's check out... Ooh, Wakako. Let's see what this reward is from her. It's been a long time since the beginning of the game. <laughs> She's not even someone I've met in person. So. Or at least not someone I, as the player, have. V maybe has, but not while I've been controlling him. Oh, that weirdly worked out well. Wow, that was one of my 
better ones, I think, too. Bumblebee helps me. Bumblebee helps me drive. He corrects my mistakes. Ever so subtly. I don't even... Like, I'm not even supposed to know it's happening. Bumblebee's good. Oh, nope, not that way. Thought it was telling me to go off. Everything's fine. That's supposed to happen. If I say it enough, maybe you'll believe me that it's supposed to happen. So I just keep trying every time. It's weird that there's no cars on the road. I feel like it's because they're not spawning in around me. drifting. The gist of this drifting, I think is what I meant to say. Wow, that's ooh, special. Doing good. Good with the words today. Clearly. Whoops. Oh my god, did I just get myself wedged? How? Wow. In your line of work, one must be quick and punctual since you seem to struggle with both. Hey, figured you could use a motorcycle. If you can only have one, let it be the best. The Yaiba Kusanagi. I happen to have one for sale. Buy it, you will not regret it. I like it. That also kind of looks like a transformer. Dino Dinovic. You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown, city center. V. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Okay. Odd stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Um, all right then. And BTW, you're welcome to swing by any time. Club's always open if, to you if need, if need is to drink. Electric orgasm, can't miss it. That sounds like my kind of bar. Uh, let's take care of you while we're here. Shall we? No, there we go. There's you, there's you. Let's breach you. Great. Now, how do we go about this? Mm, you, I might be able to just... No, you'll see it. So, let's distract you, I think. Overheat you. And 
glitch your weapon. Wow, you're really taking a long time to see me though, huh? Let's overheat you. And I think... Oh, crap. I'll just... That'll work. Not bad, actually. That uh, camo really helped. So much. Really helped me get through. You're welcome. You're clear now. You don't have to cower. It's all good. I mean, I get it. You're gonna take your time, but you're good. Yeah, I think that camo is gonna come in real handy. Really could have, could have come in handy when I was in that apartment. It would have helped a lot. But it's fine. Let's see. This one doesn't feel super great. Let's see. I think this might work. At least as best as I can get it. That'll do it. Okay. Thank you for your time, everyone. Oh, evidence, right. Perfect. Nice archive conversation. I'm here. Bartender says Maelstrom threatened him. He didn't have a choice. They disbarged him, told him to start pouring, said he had to. Yeah, well, he could have called. This is our turf. Says he couldn't. He was scared. But he wasn't scared of us? Says he didn't tell him a thing. Yeah, of course he didn't. He doesn't know shit. What could he? So maybe we let him go? I mean, what else was he supposed to do? This is our fucking turf. He should have called us instead of throwing a fucking party. Beat his ass. It's the principle of the fucking thing. Wow. Forgiving, aren't we? Cool. Great. Uh, really thought it was going to be easier to get to Wakako. That's not an unlocked door. Bum, bum. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have places to be, people to see. Excuse me. Um. How's it going? Oh, okay. Oh, Joy Toy. Hey, you looking for some company tonight? Um, well, you found it, baby. Did we go somewhere, or is this a dark alley type of party? I ain't no scuzz ass slut. I got my own place. Okay, well, that's nice, but no thank you. Bye. Sorry, I'm very gay. In case that was unclear to anyone. <laughs> And we found Wakako's place. So, we'll get to that next time. Aww. Uh, this is the least fashionable jacket I've worn so far. So listen, if this isn't the worst thing you've ever seen, like the video and subscribe to my channel and tell everyone that you know how much you enjoy hanging out with me in Night City while we play through Cyberpunk. I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Okay, bye!